right, welcome back. First in, Weasels Over Syria, Mission 7, Deception. This is going to be for new players, players that are new to DCS or new to DCS campaigns. I'm going to be walking you through each step of the things that I'm doing, or at least the best I can. I apologize. I know there is going to be times where I get a little bit task saturated and focused on a target, and I forget to talk about the things and the buttons that I'm pressing. So if I forget to do so, and you're curious, hey, how the heck did you do that? Like, wh what did you do there? What did you do there? Give me a timestamp in the comment uh, section below. And hey, what did you do at, you know, minute and second? And I'll get you an answer. Uh, for those of you who have been watching this from Mission 1, the whole series, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be repeating myself quite a bit here uh, because I want this series to be a reference point for those of you who are just... You know, I only have a problem with Mission 7. I don't have problems with Mission 1 through 6, just Mission 7. I'm not going to watch, you know, each mission is an hour and a half. So, like, uh, you know, six six missions, almost eight hours of footage just to find out how to do Mission 7, right? So they're just going to watch Mission 7. So if I'm not talking about certain things that I do, they're going to, you know, how, how do you do that? Well, I already discussed that back in Mission 5, right? That's not fair. So I'm going to try and talk you through everything that I do in this mission, um, in every mission. So if you're if if you've been watching along through the whole series, you're probably going to see things that I've already discussed five times. No big deal. Just ignore that. If you have a question, if you know how'd you do that, let me know in the comments below. Let's get started. Deception. All right. We're gonna go down here to the electrical panel and switch this uh, switch, the power switch up to main power. All right, start aircraft. All right, so next, close the canopy. So left click and hold. We wait for the canopy to come all the way down. Keep holding that switch down until it's fully locked in place, and then we'll left click on the spider handle here to close that. And uh, we're going to contact ground. Now, you can turn on your UHF, but it's just UHF. It's not VHF. And you contact ground on a VHF frequency in the mission. In real life, you wouldn't be able to do this because you don't have a VHF standby. So, but in the mission, no big deal. So, right control, backslash, F10. And uh, we're using, you can see, we're using the VHF here. You can set your immortal on by pressing F1, or you can just request engine start by pressing F2. So we're gonna hit F2. Hotel four ground, SOAR 2-1 requesting startup. SOAR 2-1 cleared for engine start. All right, start two. Everybody goes start two, no one goes start one, come on, everybody knows that. All right, IFF to norm. I don't follow pr pr proper procedures. And so if you're looking for a real F-16 startup, take a look at Carbon's latest starting engine. definitive startup video. It is awesome. Carbon's a real F-16 crew chief, just like me, except he's crewing right now. And it's been about thir 13 to 15 years since I crewed last. Uh, zero that out. Turn these on. We at 20% yet? Yes, we are. Let's go over the horn. Let's turn these on. And we are not going to turn mids on yet. That's the new startup procedure. If you haven't watched or if you haven't looked at the change log uh, for the latest version of DCS, they've changed a couple things, one of which was Good the start engine on. The mids on. You, you can't turn that on until the alignment's finished. Set VHF radio for sword flight. Press spacebar when ready. So if you don't know what sword flight's frequency is, you're going to press right shift K and then use the left and right brackets to cycle through your knee boards. So you get to the campaign radio listing here. Pin it. Right bracket. Pin that one too. This is your waypoints. Let's go back to the other pin. And we want sword. So right here, COM2, sword. Preset seven. So we're gonna go COM two, seven, enter, and then spacebar. And then to close Short this, to, to lead radio check. Just press right shift K, and that'll close your knee board. Limit Charlie Forest. 
Copy, Bug. I'll take off first, follow me up, and we'll form up during departure. Short two two. All right. Continue to start up and get airborne when ready. All right, so we're gonna align our Hemix here. So we're gonna hit s uh, list zero, recall, dauber right, and here's your Hemix align. We're gonna hit select. And for those of you with track IR, what I do here is I uh, I use the F7 key. So if if you press F7, it dampens your movements. So I'm going to do really fast left and right. This is on, off. On, off. All right, so on. You can see how it dampens the movement, makes it a lot smoother. Get this lined up, and then we're going to hit enable switch to press. And then you can hit, uh, hit F7 again to go back to normal. And we're going to hit select. And select again. Use the RDR cursor switch to move this around. Get this thing aligned. There we go. Hit select and select again. And then RDR right and left to align the roll. Get that lined up. Hit select. And then list six for INS. You can see we have 10. And ready is uh, flashing. And we have align flashing on the hood. We're gonna come down here to the INS knob, set that to nav, and then we're gonna check time. So dauber left to go to the main page, hit six for time. Make sure it says GPS system for time, and then you can set your mids to on. That's the new procedure. If you want to turn on, uh, turn off your Hemix, so you can get that out of the way. Just press DMS down long for longer than one second, or like a half a second. I'm not sure. And it'll go away, then press DMS long to bring it back. All right, so I'm gonna turn that off for now. Dabber left to go to the main page. Let's go back to ground, so right shift K. Ground is frequency uh, preset one for VHF. So COM2, one, enter. Right control backslash F10. And you can set immortal on with F1 or hit F2 to request taxi. This is the last chance you have to turn on Immortal, so do it now if you want it. We're going to hit F2. Hotel 4 Ground, Sword 2 1, requesting clearance to taxi. Sword 2 1, you are cleared for taxi. Alright, let's taxi out. So Sword 2 1. We're going to hold the brakes and then we're going to set our parking, uh, parking brake to anti skid. Let's press the nose wheel steering button and then throttle up, let go of the brakes and taxi out. Now I know I have Mavericks on the right wing here and you can uh, align them now or uh, foresight them rather. Um, but in my experience, I've had better luck on the field boresighting them. I'm not sure if I'm gonna boresight these. I'm not really too concerned with it. But if you want to, you can do it here on the line. Just got to pick something far away to align your TGP to your Mavericks. We're going to stop right here. All right, let's contact tower. So sh right shift K. And you're going to see tower is uh, preset uh, two. And then departure is preset three. So right shift K to get rid of that. Com two, two, enter right control backslash F10 you can see you don't have immortal as an option anymore so again if you want immortal on do it back there in your parking spot press F1 to request taste uh, takeoff hotel 4 tower sort to one requesting takeoff so two one you are cleared for takeoff on runway 28 wind 292 for six knots altimeter 2977 sort to one all right, 2977 is the altimeter. I had a comment recently asking me why I don't set that. Uh, you can if you want, but... You can do that right here by uh, left-clicking here and dragging it up and down. 
seven seven. That should be about right. Um, but uh, I never do it because I haven't really had much need for it. So we're lined up. Let's turn off nose wheel steering. Push the throttle up to full burn. Holding the brakes. Let go of the brakes. And you can just tap Short the brakes. To, one rolling. to keep control of the jet until you have enough wind speed around the tail to take control. 165 is a good takeoff speed. We'll pull up right now. Sort to one. Gear up. Wheels up. Got a little bit of a crosswind here. Or we'll hold ourselves at 280. Keep yourself below 4,000 feet. Trim this out. Right wing down. To trim this out a little bit. That's good altitude. Let's altitude hold on the uh, autopilot. And we're going to contact departure. So COM 2, 3, enter. Right control backslash F10, contact departure. Hotel 4 departure, SIR 21, departing from runway 28. SIR 21, turn heading 050, climb flight level 190. Turn 050, climb flight level 190, SIR 21. All right, turn their autopilot off. To the right. I'm gonna go zero five zero and climb up to Angels nineteen. Pulling three G's right now is a little much. Don't really have to pull that hard, but zero three zero four. And zero five. Level the wings. Keep our climb. If you have it trimmed out right now, you shouldn't have to really do too much. If you need to, you can turn on the autopilot. Your pitch set to attitude hold. Your roll keep at attitude hold, and the computer, the flickus, will just keep you right here. Forgot I was in full burn. I burned off a lot of fuel there. That was really stupid. <laughs> We're back in mill power now, which is as far forward as the throttle can go without being in full burn. Zero five zero, climbing up to Angels 19. We'll level out at 19. 18. And that's sea level, not not ground level. We just passed 19, so let's go back down. I wasn't I was talking. Altitude hold. That'll hold us there. Sword 21, continue on heading 050. Let's get ourselves back on 050. Hopefully H4 Tower doesn't have a number for us to call. <laughs> Angels 19, 050, on the dot. Looking good. Let's keep her here. Got to give it a little bit of a right aileron here to fight the wind <clears throat> while we're here let's create a PDLT a primary data leak track on two so we can watch him so DMS down to get a square over the HSD uh, this screen here we're gonna use RDR cursor switch to move the crosshair around 
put it over to TMS up to create a P uh, PDLT. And now a DMS down left, uh, long to turn the Hemix on. And we can find two there, there he is. Back there. Waiting for him to catch up. It's my bad, I was in full burn for way too long. <laughs> Waiting for departure to hand us off. Let us go. Not quite level because we've got to fight the wind here. When we get a handoff, we're going to set the steering. Go to one. You are clear of hotel for airspace. Departure handing off. All right. Proceed on your briefed flight plan. So we're going to go and hit the uh, roll to steering select. And the Flickus is going to, or the Flickus, the nav computer is going to take us to a waypoint one. I'm not even touching the throttle or the stick right now. Computer's flying for me. Autopilot set VHF radioed for sword flight. So we already know that's seven. So we're gonna hit COM2, seven, enter. Two lead switch sentinel on uniform. All right, right, sh right shift K. Sentinel Three is seven. two. So we're gonna go COM1, two, enter and then press spacebar. Sentinel, Sword 2 is airborne and on mission 0941. Request words. Sword 2 1, Sentinel. Sword 1 and 3 are reporting mission success. Bottom three and double five are on mission and ready to proceed. Sword 2, you are clear to proceed as planned. Copy, Sentinel. Sword 2 is proceeding. All right. And we're going to climb up a little bit. OK. So. Sounds like they got the job done. Now it's our turn to step up. Copy, Buck. Let's check in with vacuum, see what we're dealing with. Copy. Switching on uniform. So according to the flight plan, we're supposed to be at uh, Angels 20. So I'm doing attitude hold. We're going to climb up to 20. Set UHF radio for vacuum. Press spacebar. So uh, vacuum is going to be 3. So one, three, enter, space bar. Vacuum, sort two one, request low down Sierra. Sort two one, vacuum, stand by low down Sierra. Six two eight, four four, one nine five, six six eight, tight. Four lock away, four four, one six two, six seven six, tight. And low down. Copy, vacuum. Sword two out. Vacuum out. I'm switching to steer point two by pressing this up arrow here. Okay. Go back to one, Sounds go like the only two. fans that are currently up are around Hom. Got it, bud. Sure that's going to change soon enough. Yeah, no doubt. Okay, let's focus now. Proceeding on flight plan. Rendezvous with Spartan is 1220 Zulu. Alright. So 1220 Zulu. We're ahead of schedule, so we'll probably have to get there and orbit a little bit. We're climbing up to Angels 20. While we're climbing, let's go ahead and set up our weapons. So air to ground. <clears throat> and then uh our 105s, let's turn them on to get them aligning. And then let's switch over to our AGM 65s and power them on. It's going to take a little bit for them to power on. Hit the TGP twice, and we're going to select weapon. So we have the weapon page here. I'm going to hit Flickus over here and change it to TGP so I can have my targeting pod on the left side. This is how I like to set it. You can set it any way you want. It does not matter. HSD. 
and we'll just keep flying waiting for those uh, 105s to align we're at 20 let's go ahead and altitude hold pass through 20 it's all right and we're going on up to waypoint two so instead of clicking these pages to go between the pages that you have uh, set up you can just hit dms right for the right screen to cycle through them right 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 and left 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 to cycle through the left page or left mft so if you see me doing that without clicking on anything that's how i'm doing it Let's uh, hit air to ground here to go back to default. Just navigation. You can see the F-18s. If you've read the briefing, we know that we're rendezvousing with the uh, growlers here. They're coming up here soon. They're going to go with us and uh, jam all the radars for us. And we are way ahead, uh, way ahead of schedule. 12.15, we got five minutes to get to waypoint two. If you hit the cruise button here, number five, you'll see we're gonna be there way ahead of time. <laughs> so we'll be there at uh, 17, three minutes of uh, loiter before we're supposed to actually rendezvous. Two, waypoint two is 15 miles ahead. Switch to red one on uniform. All right, red one got is... 14 on uniform, which is UHF, so COM 1, 14, enter, Two and then space bar. Spartan 3, sword 2 1, approaching RV point. Copy, sword 2 1, Spartan 3 is in position and ready to proceed. Alright. Copy, Spartan. Stand by, push on my mark. Okay, 2, fence in. Alright. Fence in. We're going to turn our lights off. I've seen a lot of guys forget to do that. And you're flashing your anti-collision light, <laughs> showing everyone where you're at at night. During the day, it's not that big a deal, but let's turn our ECM to operate. And we will do, let's see here, master arm on. All chaff flare buckets, everything looks good there. We're all good. Uh, we can do uh, CMS aft to turn on the ECM pod if we want. So CMS aft, CMS right to turn it back to standby. CMS aft to turn it on. When ready to proceed with the planned attack, contact Spartan 3 using the F-10 menu. Push time is 1220. So we got about three minutes. Coming up on waypoint two. And since so we're in autopilot, she's going to fly us around waypoint two into an orbit. I'm not touching the stick. I'm just going to let her fly. Give it three minutes here. And since we have master arm on, let's check those 105. So hit air to ground. And yep, you can see it says ready. So these are aligned. Let's go to our... Mavericks, take a look at the weapon page, and yep, we can see the Maverick video feed from the Seeker head. We're going to switch this to uh, pre, so we can use our TGP. So DMS down to go over here to the TGP, DMS down again to go back over to the Maverick, down again to go back to the TGP, that's how we switch back and forth. TMS left to turn on white hot on the TGP here. We're gonna look at the HSD. The uh, pop-up point is gonna be 
waypoint four. Target's going to be waypoint five. About one and a half minutes till mission push time. Two is right behind me. <laughs> Direct trail. There's waypoint two in the sky here. Sixty seconds, so I'm gonna switch to waypoint three. And uh, you know what? I'm gonna go to waypoint uh, four actually. I'm gonna turn in and get ready. So let's turn off the autopilot. There's our pop-up point right there. Right control, all right, uh, sorry. Uh, yeah, yeah, let's do uh, backslash. We're gonna go F10 and we're gonna hit F1. At 1220. All right, F1. Spartan 3, sort 2 is pushing. Bomb 3 pushing. Follow the briefed flight plan and attack. Make sure to keep below 2500 feet MSL to stay masked from Tyus. Do not commence your pop up before TOT of 1224 Zulu. Abort the mission at any time using the F10 menu. So we're gonna go down to 2500, Angels 2.5, MSL. And we have got three minutes and 15 seconds to get to the pop up point right there. So let's go. Altitude. 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 All right, we're below 2,500 now. A little bit of turbulence down here. Not as smooth as it is up at 20. I'm going to change our waypoint to waypoint 5, steer point 5, so I can already have the TGP looking at that steer point when we do the pop-up. But if we want to get an idea of where we're at, we're going to go back to steer point 4, hit cruise, and right now our ETA for steer point 4 is 12.24 and 37 seconds, but we're losing time so we're going to speed up a little bit according to the briefing we need to be popping up between 1224 and 1225 so right now we're 1224 and 35 seconds so that's looking good and Dauber left and I'm going to go back to waypoint 5 so that my targeting pod is looking there when I pop up we're just going to use the HSD to know when we're popping up. Two's right next to me. Looking good. So as soon as I get to waypoint four, I'm gonna DMS right to 
to go to the weapon page so I can see my Maverick feed. And then DMS uh, down to cycle between the Maverick and the TGP screen so I can find the SA-15 and SA-6. Just stay below 2500. MSL. Devil 5, ducks away. Alright, Devil just dropped the uh, Stop in. Who's gone? So that should distract the radars at Tyus. Coming up on steer point 4. Coming up on 1224. Going into burner so we can make up a little bit of time here. Coming up on some power lines here, so we'll climb a little bit. Put the flight path marker above the power lines. Going out of burn. Stay below. Julie, waypoint four ahead, ready to pop. All right, here we go. Decoys in the air, we're clear to pop. Popping up. Okay, we've got an SA-6 and an SA-15 indications from TIS. Yep. Let's level out. And we're gonna start looking around. Bug attack options are now available. If then menu, proceed with your attack on SA-6, SA-15. Both SAMs need to be knocked out ahead of the strike package. TOT 1235 Zulu. So we're gonna look at this. And we are looking for an SA-6 site. Looks like a lot of hot over here. Let's take a look. Let's go narrow. Oh yeah, there's a six radar right there. Let's go back to wide. And looking for and that looks like an SA-15 yep let's get the SA-15 first so right control backslash F-10 SA-15 F-3 tell Bug to attack that first Short 2 2 engage SA-15 copy 2 engaging and we're gonna hit that uh, SA-6 right now. Magnum, SA-15, Tyus. I know the six is down here. SA-15 is, right is there. powered down. Kill it while we can. Oh, okay. Let's get down below the clouds. So. Sounds like Bug is not going to be able to get the 15. I hope he did. There's a 15. Uh, I'm going to let his harm do its job. Let's go back to the 6. There it is. And we are within range, so I'm going to fire that off, so... Uh, weapon release, press and hold it. Sure, 2-1, right. Where's that? And let's use the Maverick Seeker Head to grab that 15 right there. And fire that as well. We're going to get out of the weapon envelope. Six is looking at us. Ooh, yeah. SA6 radar is dead. Let's take a look. Oh, yeah. SA15 is history. All right, we're good. Both Sam's down. Primary threats eliminated. Nice. All right. So we're good there. Let's go to our All SMS players. page. Sword two one. Tyus threats destroyed. And turn the. Mouse on. Two one. Devil four. Alpha three. You are good. Proceed. Sword two will continue to cover you during your vote period. Devil four. Copy. 
All right, Mavs are out. Let's take out the rest of that SAM site here. Bug, set up high cover five miles west of the base, Angels 2-5. I'll push and hold five miles east. Hold there and we'll watch for pop-up threats. Copy, Forrest. Hold over Tyus and cover the strike package. Sounds good. All right, lining this up. We're gonna press and hold the weapon release button. Keep the flight path marker centered on the line. And there it goes. Uh, over there, there it goes. Let's climb up. And we'll just keep an eye on things for the strike package. I'm gonna go left. So I can keep a good eye on the uh, SA-6 site. Get a good BDA. There it goes. Nice. Oh yeah. Looking great. All right. We'll just stay holding overhead. Keep an eye out, so let's expand our HSD out to 60 miles. And I'm gonna stay to the east, which is where I'm at now, so we're gonna start, actually let's do a right hand orbit. Looking good. Oh yeah, I think I only missed one launcher over there. No big deal. That site's essentially incapacitated. <laughs> A little tighter turn, we need to stay on the east side of the base, which is this side over here. Bugs over there on the west side. Let me see right there. Still climbing up. And drop the nose. We're losing too much speed. And we're a little heavy on the left wing now. So we got no. Uh, Mavericks on the right wing, so we're going to trim that out. Starting to gain speed a little bit here. 235. Keeping an eye out for any air-to-air uh, -air threats, and if anyone calls out any air, air uh, SAM sites. Keep climbing.
Right, let's do attitude hold and attitude hold. Well, right, let's do steering select. Keep us orbiting around uh, waypoint five. Keep climbing up to Angels 25. Strike package is inbound. You can see them right, right here. Four of them here, four of them there. There's bug. Strike package is almost there. Got some jets here on the ramp. And they're parking spots. Got a couple right there too. Uh, clouds are getting in our way. Let's altitude hold. We're way above Angels 25. Wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Strike package is almost here. Devil 4 commencing attack. Camera 3 pushing the target. Devil 4 is in. Alright, looks like they're in hot. Seeing many jets out here. There's one right there. There's a couple right there. Hammer three is in. Messed him up. Devil four off target. All right. I see him leaving. Nice. Oof. Hammer three targets destroyed. Pushing north. Okay, two. Strikers are pushing north. We'll escort them out. All right, let's Copy. escort them out. Bomb three spotted. Let's turn off the autopilot. Follow the strikers north and escort them out of the target area. All right. So if you want to see them, uh, you can uh, TMS uh, DMS down to get the HSD in uh, in uh, control, and then TMS right to cycle through all your your PDLTs. So there's one of them down there. Uh, one right there. They're all fairly low. 15, 16, 17. Uh, there we go. So there's, uh, there's one of them there. So we're just gonna 
follow him out. Mud, eight. Oh. Total 142 for 71. And no threat to strikers, but it looks like we've got a dog air radar supporting it as well. Happy bug. That's quite far north, might be a problem for our patrols. Sentinel, did you copy sort 22's last transmission? Copy sort 21. Are you able to prosecute? Sure. Why not? Decide if you're able to attack SA-8 and dog your targets. Respond using F-10 menu. Yeah, let's do it. So yes, engage targets, F-1. A firm Sentinel. We'll take care of it. Copy, so two, one. Clear engage. Let's go to waypoint okay, six. Okay, two. Let's see what we can do about this gecko. Set up on cover west of the target. Copy, Forrest. Okay, lead, I am tally on the target. Uh, looks like they're situated around a small pond. Position is north, 3447, decimal 471, east, 03801, decimal 016, elevation 3046. Uh, it looks like they got a pair of ZU 57 defending the position, too. 3447. 471, enter, dauber down, east, uh, 0, 3, 8, 0, 1, 0, 1, 6, enter, dauber down, and 3, 0, 4, 6, elevation, dauber left, and you can see it there, right there, the little dot right there, so that's what we're looking at. Uh, DMS down to get the TGP in focus. TMS down uh, to cycle it so it looks right at waypoint 14. Engage and kill the SA-8 and dog ear if you can. When ready to RTB contact bug using the F-10 menu. All right, so gonna drop our throttle. Keeping our ECM on, looks good. And we're going to come down to where we can see it. Because right now I can't see it. Clouds are in the way. So we're going to drop the throttle and use God's G to take us down below the clouds. And we're going to stay a good distance away. I really don't want to get shot at by this thing. There we go, should be able to see now. Let's level out. Ooh, there's, looks like that might be Bug. Nope, that was one of the strike package jets. Bug is back here. So let's get a PDLT on Bug so we can watch him. And we'll go back to the targeting pod. Looking for, oh, yep. I got something here. It's a narrow. We're looking for an SA-8. And that looks like an SA-8 right there. And we're looking for a dog ear as well. Let's get below the cloud level again. Uh, that looks like a dog ear, so let's just throw the bomb right there. How's that? All right, let's level out. Let's turn hot. And we're going to keep the flight path marker right on the line here. The 8 is looking at us. Alright, let's, let's get out. I don't want to get shot at by this thing. Let's see if uh, Bug can hit it with his harm. I'm getting way too close for comfort. So we're going to turn and right control backslash F10. Bug attack SA8 with harm, so F2. Sort 2-2, two, two, engage SA8 portal 142 for 71. 
Copy lead, engaging SA-8. Alright, looks like two's got him locked up. And we're gonna turn hot again. See if I can keep him looking at me instead of bug. Pressing and holding the weapon release button. Then there it goes. Short 2 1 defending, oh. SA 8. And drop everything. Alright, I'm gonna zip around to the Right. Keep this thing guessing. Make it work hard. There we go. That ain't still looking at me. You can see him. Boom, there's dog ear. And the eight's gone. All right, that's the eight dog ear is out of action. All right. I'll stay out of that SA-6 ring. That's both targets down. Time to head for home. All right. Let's head on up to uh, waypoint. Seven, so let's go to seven, so steer point seven, enter, dauber left, and okay, our well, master. Okay, back on me. Battle damage check. Switch Victor comms back to Swords Freak. Copy. Alright, our master caution is for the stores, because we dropped all our ordnance, so we're going to go stores cat one. And that'll clear that master arm, or sorry, master caution. And the lights over here. Get up to waypoint seven. And keep climbing up. So that was pretty sloppy, I'll admit, but we survived. Should have stayed a little further away from that SA-8 so we didn't get shot at, but we were able to dump everything and uh, evade that missile. There's seven right there, a little square with the dot in the center. Let's climb up to, uh, let's go take a look. Angels, uh, according to this, 15, but I'm getting low on fuel, 2.7. We still got a ways to go, so I'm gonna climb up. Get ourselves nice and high. And drop the throttle. And we're gonna do an altitude hold and a steering select on the, alt uh, the autopilot. Get ourselves to steer point two. And we're gonna turn our 105s and Mavericks off. Go out of air to ground mode. Turn our hammocks off. Let's get a PDLT on two again. I think we lost it. 
There we go. So if you read the briefing, I think bingo is actually supposed to be 4,000 pounds. Uh, and I did not set that. My bad. But uh, if you do want to set your bingo, just hit list. And then you can see bingo is number two. So hit number two. And you can set it to 4,000 pounds. Bingo. Enter. Bingo. And now she's going to complain. Right? So dab her left. And if you want to get rid of that, you can just hit uh, Warn Reset. That will go away. So we're at Angel's uh, 20. We're at uh, Fuel's at 2.5. Coming up on Waypoint 7. Let's switch to Waypoint 8. So just up arrow here to go to 8. And I'm not touching the stick. I'm just letting the autopilot take me there. And uh, let's check on bug. There he is. He's catching up. We'll get ourselves leveled out here, headed towards waypoint eight. leveled out so we're going to set our roll back to attitude hold and let's go to steer point uh, I think it's 11 H4 is steer point 13 there it is 13 so uh, you can see your distance to steer point 13 uh, right here on the left side, so you have 131 miles to steer point 13. Or you can look down here at your HSI and you can see 130 miles and the direction of the steer point that you're pointed to. We'll just stay right here. Alright, look good, Forrest. All clean. BDA done. I missed it. Sorry, guys. So BDA, your your two. Sort two, will, two, we're clear. Fence out. We'll fly underneath you and Forward over top two, of two. you, and check your jet for any damage, stuff like that. Um, fence out. All right, so we're gonna go master arm off, and just in case, I'm gonna keep my uh, ECM set, but I'm going to do CMS right to turn off uh, the Too ECM. Late. Checking out with Sentinel. I'm going to go to standby and turn our lights back on. Sentinel is going to be, I believe, what was it, two? Yeah. So COM1, two, enter, and then spacebar. Sentinel, sword two is clear of target area and is RTB. Yeah, we rocked it. Sentinel, we took out both the S8 and the dog ear. That's right. Copy, Sword 2 1, outstanding work, outstanding. Clear to RTB, Sentinel F. Uh, 
Optional conversations available, so right control backslash F10, discuss weasel operations. Feels good to finally be getting down to real work. The Kayak really got its act together the last few days. This is what I expected when I heard we were going to Syria. Quite the target set we've started hitting. Radars, SAM sites, C2 sites, comm stations, airfields. Yeah, when we start to dismantle an IAD, we really do it, don't we? Uh, that's well, right. by now we've gotten pretty experienced at it. We've come a long way since Vietnam, and learned a lot of lessons along the way. The IAD's back piece by piece. We'll have air superiority over Sierra within a day or two at this rate. Well, I wouldn't go that far yet, Buck. Politics or geopolitics or something else is still holding us back. What's that then? What do you mean? Well, it's still a concern that we're only taking out the northern portion of Syria's air defenses. It's okay to a point, as it lets the JSTF carry out its mission, but it leaves a lot of capabilities still in the south. A lot of radars, mobile SAMs, and fighter aircraft are still in position down there. Plus, the Russians are still resupplying the Syrians with more modern equipment. So, if at some point the Syrians decide to change the dynamic up north, they still can. Exactly. Ideally, we want to go farther now and take the IADs apart all the way back down to the Jordanian border. I know the boss has been lobbying for it. Better to do it now before the Russians reinforce the Syrians anymore. The higher S wants to say no. You got it. This is where we suffer to politics. Strictly speaking, it's outside our approved mission, which is securing the no-fly zones. Going farther at this point might dramatically escalate things. And with the Russians in theater and determined to prop the Syrians up, well, who knows where things might end up then. So we're being cautious. Let's just hope it doesn't come back to haunt us later. Let's hope so. We've got reason to be cautious. None of us is here to start a war with Russia. And if the rumors about Metro Indigo are correct, we may have already started poking the bear. Well, from what I've heard, the Russians have denied having any personnel embedded at Syrian air defense sites. But it's not hard to imagine that they might have had intel specialists at Metro Indigo. I'm sure they'd have been pretty interested in our activity. Well, bad luck for them if they were there, I guess. Yeah, I guess so. Alright. Ninety-four miles out from H4. Right shift K, we're going to be contacting uh, approach on the VHF preset 4 at around 50 miles. Now again, these walkthroughs, uh, this isn't necessarily the correct way of doing things. This is just how I do things. Um, you don't have to follow my procedures or my tactics. You can do it your own way. Whatever feels right to you. Um, I'm not claiming to be doing this realistically. This is just for fun, which I'm having a lot of. This campaign has been a blast so far. I want to say... Mission 4, I think, has been my favorite. I, I, I think it was 4. I don't remember exactly, but I think it was 4 where uh, we were basically... Um, we were Kaz and Overwatch for a uh, Spec Ops team, which is really fun. I enjoyed that one. That, that's got to be my favorite one so far. But yeah, this is not necessarily real-life tactics or the way you're supposed to do it. Uh, this is just how I do it. So take with that, uh, take that with, you know, with a grain of salt, everything that I say and, and do here. But uh, so far, I think only one mission, I wanna say it was mission three, two or three, that I didn't get a full 100% mark on because I missed one of the SA-6 launchers. I wanna, I wanna say it was three, I, I can't remember what mission it was, but one of the missions I got, uh, I think, 97 on the score. Uh, but uh, all the other missions, if you follow this, uh, these guides, it's a 100% completion rate 
on all the rest. But again, it's just the way I do it. Not necessarily, not necessarily the right way or the correct way. Just that's how I do it. Coming up on, let's see, 12, 11, 10. Uh, I think this is steer point nine, waypoint nine. 70 miles out from H4. Bug looking good. So when I got shot at by the SA-8, I did an emergency jettison, which is this button right here. You're going to want to have that mapped uh, for situations like that. Uh, if you have wing tanks or centerline tank or other bombs and uh, air to ground munitions, when you hit that button, it's going to drop all that, which is going to decrease your drags and significantly. It's going to let you uh, whip around the sky a lot faster. So uh, you can see my AGM-65 rack, the, the Maverick rack here. I forgot the actual Rogue Spectre Gaming is going to lay into me on that one. He knows the name of the rack. I don't know the name of the rack. I'm not a weapons guy. <laughs> but the rack's gone. and <clears throat> So I got to let less drag on my airframe right now. 60 miles. Passing through the border. Making contact with H4. All right. Right shift K. It's going to be 4. So, COM 2, 4, enter. Right control backslash F10, contact, approach. Hotel 4 approach, sword to 1 inbound. Turn off the autopilot, we're going to get... Sword to 1, here. proceed to Hotel 4 airspace. Check in at flight level 140. Push to wrap call arrival at 30 mile mark. Flight level 140, sword to 1. 140, contact arrival at 30 mile mark. So, right shift K, arrival is going to be 5. So we're going to do... Two, five, enter. Angels 14. We're at 50 miles. Forty-five miles. Push the throttle up a little bit. Doing good on fuel. One point five. Definitely uh, lower than it should be, and that is my fault because I was in burner for so long after takeoff. That was really unwise. <laughs> Not paying attention. I'm gonna start our right hand turn here. And I pass through 14. Once again, talking and looking at other things, not paying attention. Climb back up to Angels 14. We're in contact arrival at uh, 30 miles out. We've got 10 miles to go.
All right, altitude hold. And arrival is five, so COM2 on preset five, which we're already there. Wait until we get to 30 mile mark. Push the throttle up a little bit more. Two's looking good. So once this says 30 over here on the left, you got uh, your distance. That doesn't mean we're at 30, we're at the high end of 30. So we gotta wait till we're at 30. Three, two, one. All right, F10. Arrival. Two. Five, enter. F10, contact arrival. Hotel four arrival. There it is. Sword two one, entering hotel four airspace. Sword two one, cleared for approach alpha. Maintain flight level one four zero. All right. Approach alpha, flight level one four zero, sword two one. One four zero. So alpha is going to be there. At 13. So we're going to head that way. Keep our altitude. Good still. Let's stay at Angels 14. Going to Alpha. So Alpha is here. Bravo is here. And that's H4. If you need to find out where that stuff is, it's in the spins dock. Just show you where parking is and where the airspace, you know, all the airspace uh, locations and everything. Push the throttle up a bit. Losing a little too much speed there. And we can see Alpha right over the lake up there. And H4 right there. And Bravo is back there. Got to stay at Angels 14. And wait for clearance to leave the pattern. Contact tower to get clearance to land.
All right, coming up on Alpha. About six miles out. I'm going to turn the autopilot off. In preparation for getting clearance to leave the pattern. Code 21, cleared to enter pattern. Flight level 060. 060. Flight level 060, sort 21. It's a counterclockwise pattern around the airfield. And tower is going to be COM 2 2. Right control backslash F10. Uh, we're not quite there yet. Zero six zero, but we can't go over that town uh, below seventy five hundred. So we're gonna stay outside that. I stay outside the town. go to 13 steer points so we can watch our distance <clears throat> go to one exit pattern and push the tower all right tower is calm to one to enter and f10 request a landing Hotel 4 Tower, Sword 21 requesting landing. Sword 21 cleared for landing runway 10, winds 292 for 6 knots. Caution, caution. Runway 10, Sword 21. Alright. 10. Getting a little low on fuel here. All right, we can get a little closer now. I, just, I don't want to mess with the town. They got a, a rule. If you break that altitude around the town there, you actually will lose points in the uh, mission for the campaign. So try to stay way outside that if I can. Coming up on five miles out. There we are. So the pattern, you're supposed to stay within five miles, but I didn't want to get near that town, so. <laughs> I'll line ourselves up for runway uh, one zero.
So yeah, the pattern is supposed to be within five miles. Counterclockwise. At least according to spins. Get ourselves in a good position here. We're on a left downwind. start our turn our left base turn here drop the throttle need to get below 300 knots <clears throat> and then we'll drop the gear Turn final, dropping the gear. Altitude, altitude. There's a bug. Turn and final. Get ourselves lined up. I like to put the uh, flight path marker at the uh, a little bit below the end of the runway there. And I know you're supposed to keep it in the bracket there for your perfect proper AOA. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. It's just a sim. And honestly, it depends on a bunch of factors, but sometimes I don't follow the, I don't fly the staple. Got a lot of turbulence here. Still kind of heavy uh, with the uh, ECM, but I'm countering that with about a thousand pounds of fuel less than what I should have. <laughs> so I'm pretty light. It has been very choppy down low. Keep the nose up. About 12 degrees if you can. Do not go above, uh, I want to say 12 or 13, or you have a tail strike. Let the nose down about 100 knots, and then we're going to keep the stabs up and the boards out. And we're just tapping the brakes. Keep ourselves as center lined as we can. All right. Nose wheel steering. Four, two, one, clear runway and proceed to spot nine. And put the boards in. And if I remember right, I actually don't remember where spot nine is. Uh, it's, it's, I think it's where we were, so I'm just going to go with that. So spot nine, we're just going to go right here. All right. Mission complete. You can exit when ready. Up to spot nine. I 
I'm pretty sure this is spot nine. Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is where we started, so. I come around the back side here. And bring it in here. Oh, <laughs> maybe this isn't spot nine. <laughs> All right, anyway, <laughs> no big deal. Uh, spot nine, I think, is probably right there. <laughs> anyway, hopefully that helped. <laughs> spot nine, you want a taxi over there? Not here. My bad. <laughs> Alright, see you guys in the next one.